All right, this one's gonna be for Android users. Uh, we're talking about is Termux. So if you know what Termux is, it's a application for your Android phone, and you can get it from. Oh, well, you can get it from the Play Store, but you know, um, preferably you want to get it from the um, F Drive repositories because they do have. Um, well, the two things I installed was well, the, the API and you know the main program here. But what is Termux? Basically, it's just a uh, terminal emulator with a uh, package manager. I do have some of these other ones down here. I am not sure. I haven't tried these other ones yet. Um, I'm barely getting into it um, to use this, you know, application. But basically, it's a shell. Um, if you ever use like Sigwin on Windows or what's it they have on Mac? I think Homebrew or something like that. Um, you know, they have like a a shell or a terminal emulator that has um, Linux tools you can install, right? And in this case, this is the application here, Termux. And you can see that um, if you ever use like apt or aptitude uh, on the Ubuntu or Debian, kind of the same thing. They have like, um, you know, this one's called PKG search install upgrade. Although we're not going to do the video from here because it's kind of janky. Right, but um, I'm gonna SSH into it here. We'll do an SSH here, and we'll type in the password. And so we see the same screen. So you know you can do a search, um, install, upgrade, and all that. They do have one if your phone is rooted. You can do like a root repositories. I'm not sure what kind of package they have in there, but you can add repositories. So if you ever do like PPAs and stuff like that. Uh, on the Ubuntu's, which I always hate those stupid things, but um, kind of same thing. They have like these other repositories for you know, um, I guess outside sources from the main one. Anyways, um, I haven't tried some of those other ones yet, but uh, they do have like most of the popular programs like Vim, Tmux, and stuff like that. I already have those installed, but definitely uh kind of slow over ssh so I, I really don't recommend you do this if you're doing this over ssh or something like that maybe if you have like a bluetooth keyboard or something like that um and you want to use your phone like kind of like a linux uh desktop environment but you know with like terminals only right so definitely you want to install tmux and learn how to use tmux you know so that's what i do here we're going to start up a tmux session uh so slow see let's see here so this is tmux here and to confirm that we are using you know termux now don't confuse tmux and termux termux is the app tmux is the uh, multiplexer uh terminal multiplexer so that's so why you see this green bar at the bottom here all right tmux it's kind of like a how can i explain it uh a tiling Windows manager for your terminal, right? And that's another thing. People always ask me um, why I don't use a tiling Windows manager. I mean, I did use it, but uh, I was just spawning like GUI applications and I really wasn't using any GUI applications. I was just using command line or, you know, any terminal ones. So I didn't really see the point of using a, a GUI if I wasn't really using any GUIs. The only GUI I really use is just the browser and I always have that on open in one window so I don't need to tile that. Right. Anyways, another reason why uh, Tmux, you know, wins versus uh, tiling Windows Manager is that you can actually use it on your phone. Right. You can use it on Windows, you can use it on Mac, Linux, any of the desktop environments with it. Hell, I, I can even use it with a uh, tiling Windows Manager. So that's why I like to learn like one application and learn it really well because it works on any of the platform. If I choose to uh, switch over to any other side, I'm I don't have to relearn anything, right? <laughs> Anyways, Tmux is what you want to learn if you get into terminal stuff for reals. Uh, the second one I'll probably say is uh, maybe uh, Vim. So if you ever use Vim, you gotta do like you know text editing, right? All right, so there you go. You do uh, you know stuff that you can do on your Linux machine or any um, you know Unix-based um, machines here. 
And as far as, you know, some of the application I was looking for, uh, I don't know why, but they didn't have um, Surf Raw. Maybe they have it on the other repositories, but I was looking for that. So I can combine it and I, I do like my uh, W3M web browsers that I was, you know, using on my desktop, but they don't have it on here. So that's a bummer. But, uh, you know, you can use W3M uh, to search, you know, on Google. Maybe you have a data caps or something like that and you're out and about and you don't want to use too much uh, your, of your data. You can use W3M and, and search for stuff, you know. Search for my uh, GitHub here. All right. And what do we got here? 12. We can go in here. And if you ever use Git, I don't have it. Do I? Here. You. There we go. We can always pull this. Oopsie. Do at the end, copy that. And you ever use Tmux? You can actually do a split. So we do a split here. And let's say if I wanted to clone that, where are we at here? Right, we're at home here and we do a uh, get clone. We can do get clone. If we did it right, what's it here? Paste. Did we do that? Paste. There we go. You know, normally when you do that on your Linux desktop, you can still do that. And we can actually uh, zoom into this pane. And if I want to go to that uh, GitHub that we just cloned, which is uh, my server scripts. And you can run like bash scripts. You know, you can write scripts in here using Vim and create uh, bash scripts if you want. So pretty cool program, you know, if you want to get like a makeshift, um, I mean, it doesn't have all the tools, but they do have all the popular ones. So the one thing uh, is that, you know, I use, I normally use Ranger, but I don't know why Ranger was crashing. I think I, ha I have to switch off of Ranger because I think it's not very lightweight and it doesn't really work well on like low end machines and stuff like that. So, but VFM, it does work. So if you need a, uh, a file manager you know to browse around stuff like that uh, no issues this one's pretty cool it's pretty lightweight so maybe I have to switch to this like on my primary one too you know because um, I don't want to relearn a uh, file manager if I'm switching between like I said about the tmux thing I don't want to relearn stuff um, because tmux is just awesome already so that's what I'm probably gonna have to do with uh, a file manager also but there you go. So you can run like, you know, um, basic stuff and you can actually, if you, you know, have your configs already set up on your desktop, you can just get clone it and you can pretty much use the same dot configurations and in no time you'll be blazing fast, even using your Android phone. Unbelievable, right? Um, what else can we do in here? I mean, uh, you can use wget and, you know, get clone and all that if you want to download stuff. Um, not an issue, but anyways, that's the intro and I think like maybe the next video and stuff like that, um, I, I wrote some scripts, so I'll probably show you how to use the scripts, uh, you know, to send it to your server or your desktop, uh, SSH and stuff like that. Um, so show you that next time, but this is like a, an intro video to Termux. If you don't know what it is, it's basically a terminal emulator with a package manager that you can install some of the packages, not all of them. I mean, the, the major, the majority of the popular ones, you know, like Tmux, Vim, FZF, um, you know, VFM as a file manager, stuff like that. But even like all these tools I just talked about right now, that is enough to, uh, to improve your workflow already. If uh, you're using this to write, you know, um, bash scripts, maybe, I don't know, whatever, whatever kind of coding you do, right? Um, so far right there, uh, your workflow will be, you know, 10 times faster already. Although I only recommend you doing this if you actually have like a Bluetooth keyboard or something that, um, you know, um, paired it with your phone. If, if you're going to use your phone to do it on the go or something like that, then there you go. Anyways, that is Termux and you can get this from the F2 repositories or, uh, the Play Store. 
Um, that'll be it for this one.